So let me describe what we're looking at here. This white object here is an electric motor. It's driven by this audio amplifier. And now it's consuming 7 watts, which is our baseline for this experiment. The motor turns this magnetic rotor and induces a current in these generator coils. And you can see on the scope here, turning, generating an 80 volt AC signal. But at this point, the output of, of these coils are open circuit, so there's no really current flowing. I have this other coil that I'm going to use to spin another rotor. And first I'll connect it to the coil. Now you can see the voltage has dropped down to about 55 volts. And we're consuming about 10 watts of power. It's about an extra 3 watts. When the coil is connected, it allows an electric current to start flowing. And based on Lenz's law, that's going to oppose the rotation or motion of the rotor. And it'll slow down. And the motor, the, the amp consumes three extra watts. And this extra wattage is consumed by the amp corresponds to the extra load put on the rotor. Now I'll take a separate magnetic coil and I'll have it spin, start, it'll kick start. And you notice now as I bring the rotor closer to the coil, the voltage has gone down, it's actually gone back up again and the power's actually gone down by about another watt. And as I continue to move it, the rotor closer and closer to the center of the coil, voltage continues to go up, almost back to the original value. We're down to 7.7 .7 watts. I'll get a little bit closer. Now we're down to 7.1 watts. So now we're almost at a point where we're at the same power consumption as the open circuit and it's taking no power to turn this motor and it actually did suddenly stop as so I got right into the center um, and I'll be explaining that in another video.